I made a game in Microsoft PowerPoint. Yeah, you heard that right. Instead of using a traditional engine like Unreal or Unity, I challenged myself to make a game in PowerPoint. Here's how I did it, and it took me over 20 hours. I first realized this was a potential engine after seeing the surrealist horror game Roche Limit, developed in PowerPoint. I then realized there was a literal tutorial on YouTube by Akoso about how to use PowerPoint to make games. PowerPoint has an action tool where you can click on an object in a slide which will take you to any slide in the presentation. I realized I could make a simple point and click game with this one tool. No lo-fi girl, she's studying in an iconic artwork that is often used as the background for lo-fi music streams. A month ago, an animation of Synthwave Boy came out, meant to be her counterpart. He's also depicted studying and is used as the background for Synthwave music streams. I wanted to tell the story of Lo-Fi Girl and her friendship with Synthwave Boy. In my game, you explore Lo-Fi Girl's room, clicking on objects that reveal her life and her relationship with Synthwave Boy. Your goal is to find Synthwave Boy's birthday, which is the password to Lo-Fi Girl's laptop. For my game design doc, I wrote down a simple backstory for Lo-Fi Girl and made a list of art assets for each wall, which I brainstormed by looking at fan art of Lo-Fi Girl. Since I knew I wanted the puzzle to be centered around Synthwave Boy's birthday, I added notes to how certain items might hint towards the answer. Then it was on to drawing my life out. I am the type of hobby artist to draw once every few months. Due to my inexperience, I am pretty slow, but I also wanted to finish this game in a timely manner. I am working on my first commercial game, and as you can imagine, I did not want to get bogged down by my silly PowerPoint project. That being said, I did a simple art style and it still took the majority of my development time. I even traced old artwork of mine to speed up the process. I purposely did not use the style of Lo-Fi Girl for the sake of finishing, but I did use the color palette. I created art for each wall view, an enlarged version of certain items in the room, and the world's simplest UI design. Admittedly, the art is not amazing, so please be gentle with me. I also used Canva for a couple of the screens because I am lazy and I've now been drawing nonstop for three days. Then it was on to writing the text for the game. I wrote flavor text for every item, which is extra snippets of text that aren't related to the actual gameplay, but enhance the tone and narrative. For example, when you click on the bear plush, Lo-Fi Girl will say, I was at an arcade when I came across a claw machine with this little guy. I spent over $30 trying to win this. A bear wearing overalls? Who could resist? Lo-Fi Girl is a college student who dreams of becoming a musician. She lives a simple life in her room with her cat Mochi, but one day she wants people to hear and love her music. Thankfully, she already has one friend and supporter, Synthwave Boy. Now it was on to implementing my art and writing into PowerPoint. Although using the action tool was simple, I would often use the feature on an item and it wouldn't apply, meaning I sometimes had to add the action tool to an item five times to get it to work. I'm pretty sure it's because no rational person is applying the action tool five times to one slide. I did run into some issues, mainly with items being too close together, but I managed. Although the puzzle is centered around finding Synthwave Boy's birthday, I had no way for the player to input the answer, so the game relies on honor code. Technically, you could surpass the entire game and discover the ending in a matter of five seconds. Despite this game being definitely worse in PowerPoint than a real game engine, I will say PowerPoint was much faster. It's also more beginner friendly with no coding necessary. Finally, I downloaded royalty free lo-fi music and had it playing in the background. After having some friends playtest and troubleshooting bugs, I was done. And what's the verdict? Limitation breeds creativity and PowerPoint as a game engine 
definitely is a limitation. Obviously, it can't be used for complex game mechanics, but I had a ton of fun thinking about how to make an interesting game with simple mechanics. As someone who has obsessed over the lo-fi girl artwork, I loved creating a backstory for her. Although what game engine to go with is an important choice, what's more important are your design skills and your ability to adapt. So how can you play this game? I uploaded it on my itch.io, which will be linked in my description. It takes less than 10 minutes to play, so go try it for yourself, it's free. But if you don't have PowerPoint installed or you are really lazy, enjoy this clip of my friend playing my game. Okay, welcome Jack. Thank you for agreeing to play my game made in PowerPoint. Firstly, introduce yourself. Hi, I am Jack. I am also Wabi Sabi inside Sondering Emily's chat. You can follow me on Twitch if you'd like to, but you should follow Sondering Emily on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok so you can keep up with all her cool stuff. Jack is going to be my playtester for my game, so take it away. Awesome. So I have been presented with what appears to be a game in PowerPoint. I did not know that PowerPoint could have games, so this is kind of cool. Um, and I guess it is, it is a day of lo-fi girl. So I don't know, are we gonna get in some lore about the actual lo-fi girl? So I'm gonna, how to play. Let's figure out how to play. Okay, start. Oh! Oh man, okay, that's a good album. I'm exploring, this is some groovy music. I love the little boba. All right, okay, so we went to the right. We got some glowy things. Let's take a look. Sometimes I wonder what or who is out there. Maybe it's a lifelong friend, my future partner, or a mortal enemy. Wow, this person must be in the books a lot. I like thinking about all the different possibilities. Nice. Love to hear it. Let's look at the calendar. What does the calendar have to say? Can you believe it's 2023 already? No, I cannot. I can't believe. Technically, it's June, but it still hurts that it's 2023. <laughs> Just a Polaroid? I know. Oh, that's I still feel like it's 2017, to be honest. I took so many pictures from Synthwave Boy's birthday. I need to buy more film. I'll do it on the way home from class. Oh, so we're in school. Man, okay, so Synthwave Boy is in, is in this universe. Okay. Ah, guitar. For all those of you who don't know about that lore, go look at Lo-Fi Girls livestream. Ever since I started making Lo-Fi music, I haven't touched this thing in forever. That's sad. I didn't know Lo-Fi Girl could play guitar. Should make that canon. Maybe I should give it another go. I should! Can I play the guitar? No, sadly not. No. Awesome. Oh, so many things. Ah, oh, hello, low fire girl cat. Oh, he's looking away from me, though. I was at the arcade when I came across a claw machine with this little guy. I spent over $30 trying to win this man. Been there. I bear a bear wearing overalls? Who could resist? You know, that is very cute, and I would entirely spend 30 bucks on that. What about the cat? I love cuddling Mochi to sleep. Is the cat's name Mochi? I'm curious if it's not. I actually Mochi. Googled it. There's no official name, so I named the cat. She keeps me warm on rainy nights. I bet she does. Spirited Away is my favorite Miyazaki film. It is a good film, and I feel like it almost traumatized me as a kid, but I think it's cool now. <laughs> Sometimes being in this room by myself at night, I can relate to No Face. That's dark. Poor lo-fi girl. <laughs> All right, happy birthday. It's cool that I'm in a PowerPoint, but I'm clicking stuff. I don't feel like I'm in a PowerPoint. That's nerdy. Synthway Boy's birthday cake. Took a picture of the birthday cake. I can't believe he turned 19. Ooh, it seems like yesterday I graduated middle school. Now we're all freaking adults. Well, at least she keeps her mouth pure. Freaking. Favorite songs. Synthwave Boy's favorite songs. So you have a list of all of Synthwave Boy's stuff in your room. Interesting. He insists that I listen to these disclosure songs. It's funny. I don't listen. Actually, I do listen to this. I know you and me. I know this song. I know a few Latch, songs by them. Magnus, Janier, White Knight. Don't know these. You and Me is a good song, though. Great song. All right, what else is there? What's over here? You've got a big room, Lo-Fi Girl. I love how you have a self-portrait in here. <laughs> Synthwave- <laughs> Oh, okay. Synthwave Boy took this picture of me on New Year's. That means that was two days ago, if this is January 3rd by the calendar. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You got what that could be this New Year's quick. on the, the year before New Year's. Oh, that's like, fair. It could be a year ago, yeah. This year. I, I apologize if I'm very picky. <laughs> Pick apart <laughs> details. This year, I hope to finally release music online. You know, Lo-Fi Girl, if only you knew. <laughs> I'm just not sure my songs are good enough. Well, everything you listen to is good enough for apparently thousands of people. This thing's got me through difficult times. Whenever I'm stressed from school, I put a record on, lay down, close my eyes, and let my problems melt away. Facts. I want a record player. Those are so vibey. 
Oh my gosh, must have left this at my house. Dear Synthwave Boy, it's the first, which means it's your birthday. I am so happy we met and connected over our shared love for music. But Synthwave Boy left this at your house? Question, 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 question. So does that mean you gave it to Synthwave Boy when you invited him over to celebrate his birthday and he left it behind because he forgot about it because you guys were doing so much other fun things? Ooh. A, lot of, a lot of questions going on. <laughs> <laughs> I can keep going. Oh! Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to where I was. This album is what got me into electronic music. Synthwave Boy thinks it's hilarious. Disclosure has a song titled His Birthday Month. Wow. If that's the reason you get into an artist, I think you need to rethink that artist. <laughs> oh, here are the albums. Dad bought me my first record. But which one is it? There's so many here. <laughs> Soon enough, I was spending my entire allowance on them. Facts, okay? They're vibey. Good thing to collect. I love writing ideas for songs by hand. In a digital age, it's nice to it slow down. It really is nice to have physical materials. I prefer physical books over like ebooks. Okay, wait, All right. You should have clicked on the laptop first. <laughs> so you oh. need to click on it now. Oh, okay. Password, hint, Synthwave Boy's birthday. Click for answer spoilers. Click here once you have the password to progress <laughs> Lux's ending. Okay, well, it's January 1st. Uh, math. Oh, God. If he turned 19 in 2023. Right. Uh, that means he turned one in 2005, which means he was born in 2004. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Does it show me that? Yeah. <laughs> Synthwave Boy. Literally, I am obsessed with the new song you're working on. OMG, thank you, heart. Synthwave Boy, trust me. Once people hear your music, they're going to love it. He didn't put an exclamation point, though, so I don't know how excited he is. Lo-fi girl. Oh, I hope so. I'm so glad we met last year and connected over our love for lo-fi and synthwave. Synthwave boy. Me too. Thanks to you, I now have a designated study buddy. Lo-fi girl. By the way, can you send me that pic from your birthday? Synthwave boy. Yup, here it is. Open image. <laughs> we look so cute. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, let's see what this image is. Aw, it's so cute. That's the gift. Kawaii this. Aw. <laughs> I want to know what video she's watching here. Thank you for playing. Oh, that was such a cute game. 